Hi guys, it's Gimbu here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is another No Man's Sky tutorial. Today is probably the most important one which I will do in this little sub-series because this is about modding the game. A big selling point, obviously, of No Man's Sky on PC is the ability to mod, and I think a lot of people are a bit intimidated by it. Modding in general is quite intimidating, but today I'm going to be talking you through it. There's a couple different ways you can go about this. I'm just going to be talking to you about the pros and cons of it, just giving you a general idea of the best way to do it. Before we get started, we actually want to find two websites where we will get our files from. So we have two options here. Um, we either have a simple website called No Man's Sky Mods. Simple as, you can use this one, um, the alternative is Nexus, and Nexus houses a lot of other uh, games like Skyrim, Fallout, things like that. It does have a No Man's Sky category, and sometimes you'll find that either one has files that another one doesn't have. Some of them are unique to the website, so really I don't have a preference. Nexus is generally better because I've used Nexus for longer back in the day and stuff like that. And uh, No Man's Sky mods reminds me of the, the BTEC Just Cause 2 modding website. But one thing to note is that for both of these websites, uh, both the links will be in the description as well. You do need an account in order to download. With No Man's Sky mods, you can quite simply link your Steam and that acts as a account or you can make a fresh one up to you nexus again you have to make an account but it's very self-explanatory just pop an email in pop a username in simple as so today i'm going to be using no man's sky mods uh to to show you how to install a mod called dark space you can see that there are some you know screenshots you get the comparisons uh you can see how big it is when it was last updated and also the category so one thing with modding is that the mods have to be updated uh, to work with new releases of No Man's Sky. So Atlas Rises, for example, if you were trying to run a foundation mod on Atlas Rises that hasn't been updated since 1.1, chances are it probably won't work. That or the game will crash. Um, bit different. Here we have the mod here. So what we're going to do is just uh, hit the download button. This will download here, and this will download as a zip. So all I'm going to do right now is... Uh, Right click on it, click show in folder, or alternatively you can go to your downloads, it'll be in here, wherever you want. I'm just going to cut and paste it uh, to the desktop, just for ease of access, so we can have a look at that later. So, now we've got the mod, we can minimise Chrome, we don't need to use that anymore. And what we're going to want to do is hop into the file explorer and just set up the mods in the No Man's Sky directory. So what you want to do is find where your game is installed. As I always say, in my case, it's on my local disk C. If you only have one hard drive, it'll be on your, your C drive. And you wanna go to wherever your Steam games are located. So you wanna go to Program Files 86, scroll down, find the Steam folder, scroll down again, find Steam Apps. Top folder, common, open that. There'll be a No Man's Sky folder here, you wanna open that. And then from here, you wanna go to Game Data, I'm going to go to PC Banks, and then this is where we're going to be setting it up. When you haven't modded No Man's Sky, the game data folder will not have this folder, and it will also have a small little text file right at the top called something like Disable Mods. Now, I've deleted this already because, of course, I mod it, but you're going to have to trust me here that there is a text file when you haven't modded the game that says Disable Mods. You literally just want to click on it and delete it. Get rid of it. Some people say renaming it, shit like that. No, just, just get rid of it. Delete it. And once you have deleted that, because that's very important, because that essentially disables any mods you put in, that will allow you to continue to mod. So what you want to do in the PC Banks folder is right-click, go New, Folder, and you just want to call this Mods, all caps, just like that, and you just want to create that. And now I've already done that, so I don't need it, so I can get rid of that. And in this Mods folder, this is where you're going to be popping all of your... Uh, files. Now, I'll talk you through a little bit how the files work with mods because sometimes people go through like Nexus Mod Manager, things like that. But with No Man's Sky, they are really, really straightforward. So, a lot of people usually extract WinRAR files, but because we're dealing with No Man's Sky mods here, 
there isn't really a point because it's so goddamn small. So you do need WinRAR. There will be a link to that to download in the description below. Or any kind of unzipping tool like 7-Zip. I think Windows now has a built-in one. But uh, the, the folder that is downloaded is zipped, is compressed. So you do need some kind of extractor in order to open it. Now with Darkspace, uh, we have multiple different files which we can look at here. So usually there's a text document. This talks you through, you know, some advertisement and stuff like that. But the only files which you want to pay attention to are the ones that say pack. Now, these pack files are the ones used to change the game's state. Now, I'm not a modder. I don't know the details behind it. But I'm pretty sure that pack files are the ones that No Man's Sky uses. And they're kind of like a mixture of things compressed into one file, essentially. I think you can unpack pack files, and that's how a lot of people mod. But uh, here we have different variants. So sometimes when you hover over them the extended writing won't come up. If that does happen, you can click rename and then you can see the full text like that. So we have uh, we have one here, we have another one here, that's nebulas only, and then we have another one here, which is normal. So majority of the time, there's a bit of variety. Um, if you go back to the page, you'll have the screenshots. So nebulas only, you've got black, normal, things like that. So if you wanted it darker, you'd go with the darker option. If you want it standard, you go with the standard option. So. I think we're going to go with Nebula only. I think that looks the nicest. So we're going to quite simply drag this pack file. Just left click, drag. I'm just going to pop it out onto our desktop right here. So you can close WinRAR down now. We're done with that. And uh, you should still have your mods folder open. And all you're going to want to do, quite simply, you can either cut and paste or you can just drag. Really up to you. You just want to drag that pack file into the mods like so. And the thing is, pack files are generally quite small. We're looking at 11 kilobytes here. Barely any of them are over like 5 meg. So they're very, very small. Don't take any time to drag over anything like that. And now we're near enough done. Now there is one final step which some people do say you have to do. Generally, I don't do it and I don't think it makes too much of an impact unless it's a drastic mod. But some people do say you should delete your shader cache folder whenever you install a mod, especially with uh, Darkspace, if you check the description, it always says to delete shader cache. In this case, we're going to delete the shader cache folder. So you literally just click the delete button. It's, it's fairly big, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just empty the recycle bin as well. And uh, from here on out, you have near enough done it. So you can close that down. You can go on Steam, find No Man's Sky. And when you launch No Man's Sky, it will boot up as normal. It won't give you any kind of indication that it's modded, apart from at the very, very beginning. If it works, it will say, this is a modded version. It isn't supported by Hello Games, blah, 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 stuff like that. That's when you know you've done it right. Now, if you deleted your shader cache, which I would recommend for the first couple times just to kind of ease yourself into it, then it will go through that really long, annoying process of watching the stars go by as it says loading shaders. It will do that because it's essentially refreshing them, but just let it do its thing. Don't worry about it, it will get sorted in the end, and from there on out, you should notice a difference immediately. If you experience any crashing, any graphical issues, check that your mods are all updated, they all work with 1.3. If they don't, that's most likely where your issues are coming from if you're facing any. Also, if you experience any kind of freezing, the game doesn't boot up, glitches, falling through the map, anything like that, then there could be conflicting mods. You might want to play around with that, but generally speaking, it's, it's very much trial and error. But that is basically all we have time for today, guys. I do thank you very much for stopping by and watching. If this video did help and you did enjoy it, then please do feel free to show your support on it by dropping a like. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skinboot, signing out.